Hello Taurus, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your messages from Spirit Reading and it will be for May 2021 for the sign of Taurus. So I hope you're well. Remember it won't resonate with everybody so just take what resonates with you. And remember these can just be messages as well Taurus. Okay, so what do we have for Taurus please? Angels, Spirits, Guides for May 2021. What is the message that Taurus needs to hear for the month? Okay, we have build on solid ground. It's interesting, sometimes when I see that, you know, sometimes these translations can, as a peripheral message, be, you know, if you're building something, building your own home, for example, or you might well just be tying in with that. Um, but it's also build on something that you can trust that will stand the test of time in all things. Okay, so what do we have for Taurus? Yeah, we have embrace the moment. Embrace this day, this very moment. Think positively today and repel those negative thoughts. Try not to judge yourself or others. This may be harder than you think. What is actually happening is that you're changing your energy. So some energy changing there. Uh, embrace the moment though. It feels like a carpe diem moment. Seize the day moment, you know. Yeah, we have number 30, sacred divinity. There are two paths ahead. Okay, and final oracle card before we go into the tarot cards. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides, what is the message from spirit for Taurus? Thank you. We have donkey, keep your heart open no matter what. Archangels Mary and Gabriel. Beautiful messages there, Taurus. So let's pull the tarot cards and see what we have for you. First card being message from spirit. What do we have for Taurus, please? Angel spirits guides. What is the message for Taurus? Thank you. For May 2021. What is the message from spirit for Taurus? Thank you. Angels spirits guides. Okay. Card is out. King of Wands. <laughs> Four of Cups, okay. Yeah, it feels like a, it don't, I tell you, something is going to happen here. Okay, the Four of Pentacles. Um, it, it feels like a Carpe Diem moment. It feels like there will be something that will happen and you are absolutely being told from spirit, take the lead, go for it. Um, the King of Wands, I mean, the King of Wands can be somebody who is offering you an opportunity as well, something that's absolutely connected to your heart and soul. You know, this could be a passion of yours, uh, can be to do with, you know, an interest, it can be to do with career, uh, it can be to do with, you know, you know, you know, hobbies, passions, call it what you will. Um, even moving, relocating, I mean, whatever this is for you, it feels that there is an opportunity. This is about the, the King of Wands is somebody who is in their power, who is a person of action, first and foremost. They manage the element of fire, so they are full of action and energy and driven. And this is the message for you, this month, Taurus. Because for some of you, there may well be some kind of offer. You may well be given a, you're being given a divine nudge here. This is about taking some opportunity or opening something seriously here. And you're being told, don't think twice about it. Take the lead. Uh, go for it. Take action towards it because it is divinely guided towards you. This will be an opportunity to build on solid ground, so embrace the moment. 
Yeah. There may be many, you know, there's, there's four paths here. There's four opportunities uh, available to this person, but only one is offered by the hand of God, the divine, the universe. So you'll be nudged in a specific direction this month. So be aware, be aware. This is about be open. Again, this feeling of being open to take action, to consider all possibilities. Because, you know, there is um, a cautiousness that can stunt your growth with the Four of Pentacles. You know, there is... It can be an energy of don't let the fear or the reservation of what this card represents keep you stuck, you know? Um, this is about making judgment calls and taking action for all the right reasons. Because for some of you, it feels that there's some kind of, it feels like there will be some opportunity or something to take action towards. I'm going to get an extra card for this Four of Cups. Yeah, don't self-sabotage. This is what it's telling you. Don't self-sabotage. Seven of Swords. Don't self-sabotage. It is absolutely this. There will be some kind of opportunity that presents itself. Uh, you, the two paths are you can stay on the path that you're on or you can go for this opportunity. But it definitely feels in this situation you don't want to hold back. This is absolutely not an opportunity to be missed. Uh, yeah. Don't put up blocks, you know. Don't waste time for fear or uncertainty or caution. This is absolutely about taking the lead and going for it. So just be aware of that, Taurus. Just be aware of that this month. It's an interesting message, but that is the message that I've got for you. And I'm definitely seeing these energies as just be open. Embrace the moment. There's really an opportunity to build on solid ground. Something that may have long-term consequences, positive consequences for you. Okay, Taurus, I'm going to pull you a final message from Heaven card. So what do we have for Taurus, please? Angels, spirits, guides. What is the final message for Taurus, please? Thank you. So we have stand up for what you know is right. We are supporting you, number 27. Lovely energy there, Taurus. So I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you all and I will see you next time. Thank you.